All right, this is a uh, part three. If you don't know, if you're lost, you got to watch part one and part two. Okay, uh, so there is another file that we need to add to our. Um, so we finish adding the images to our sprites. Okay, so once you've done that, go to your Yang folder, and now you can delete all these images from your folder. That way, it'll make it easier to see everything. Okay, now you just have these files, which is better. Better to look at. But there's another uh, file that we should grab from our Kung Fu Man, and that's the AI. That's just so if when it's a computer player, you'll know what to do. <laughs> and let's see, a work folder. And we're gonna rename it Yang. And if any of you pros out there are watching this video, video you know, don't be too harsh. I'm I'm fairly new myself to this Mugen thing. So, but I'm gonna show you guys what I know. Okay, so the images are added in to our sprites. The sprites. We're going to go to the animations folder now. And once you add the images, it will have your sprites over here. And this right here, this drop down box, is your groups. And we only have one group, we have group zero. But you can have as many groups as, as you want. Okay, so we're going to go over here. And to add an animation, you know, this is selected, and you click this plus sign, and this adds an animation. It will add one to one. And now, if you want to add an image to it, you hit a plus here. So the first one was to add the animation. Now, it, this plus down here is to add the frame or the images to your animation. Click here. This isn't the image we want, but it, it it automatically defaults to the first image, number zero, number zero right here. But look, you can't change anything. So in Fighter Factory Ultimate, for some reason, once you click the plus and you have your image, you have to click play first, and then you have to click stop animation, and now you can change your image. I do not know why it's like that, but it is. Okay, so right here it says beginning action. This is really important. Um, you're f okay, I'm just going to have to show you. We are going to go to our documents, and this is your uh, tutorials. And we are going to open, gosh, sprite.html. Okay. And it has all these frames. These are your require frames. Standard getting hit. So you're going to have to have all these frames here for getting hit. And here's your other recommended group numbers okay so you got zero for standing or idle it's basically when they're doing nothing which five is for turning ten is from stand to crouch eleven is crouching and so on and these are all the numbers you have to add and remember there's the common that one CNS let me see. Well, let's just do a couple of these first, okay? So, zero standing. So, I want a standing image. So, I am going to find my standing. Let's see. Come on. I mean, this mute thing's really involved. Let's see.
And I guess I should have put everything into groups to make it easier. But I like doing things the hard way, I guess. Okay, I think this is it. <clears throat> so 57 to 62 looks like. Okay. So I know I need 57, so I change this image to 57, and that'll be my first image, the first frame of my animation. So I want to add the next frame, so I hit the plus sign, and of course it defaults to zero, and you just have to change it, 58. Hit the plus sign again. Uh, next one is 59, and 60. <coughs> plus sign is okay 61 and I'm going all the way 62 and if I move it you see how it does that but you want to keep adding so you got 57 to 62 but it will not look right so you have to go 57 to 62 and then work yourself backwards so you want to add the next animation you work yourself backwards so it was 62 now to go to 61 and keep going down till you reach not 57 but 58 oh, where did I go let's see 60 okay so I want this one 59 58 oops I don't want to add another one if you make a mistake and you add an extra one that you don't want just whichever one you want to get rid of I want to get rid of the zero hit the minus sign and get rid of that okay so you go 57 all the way to 62 and back down to 58 and you stop at 58 you don't want to do 57 because this stops at 58 and then starts over again, loops back to 57. Okay? Now watch this. You click play, it's not playing your animation. What you have to do is you move this down all the way to the first one and you go down to this time and this is the how many ticks. So I'm going to say 3. So you put the time here at 3 or whatever time you want you you just play with it and then right here you apply apply time to all frames and this will apply the time to all frames so if you you were to scroll it all has the same time three of course they don't all have to be three you can ch maybe you want it to pause on a certain one so you just go to that certain one and you change the time to whatever you want Okay, now that it has the tick, you can click the, the play animation, and it's playing. And that is the idle. And now if you want to test your animation out, since you loaded your animation, you will go to your constants, you want to make sure everything's loaded. You open, open your yang.cns. Basically, this is just the Kung Fu Man. Uh, your commands, you have to load that. So you want to load your commands, your sound file, and these are all the ones we grabbed from Kung Fu Man and we renamed it. Once you do that, if you click play, Round one. Fight. and look at that. And that's what it's going to look like. Okay? Right now, it doesn't do anything. Well, it moves left and right, but it doesn't do anything, it's just doing that same loop of the idle. And we will add more. We will continue. But that's basically it. Alright, thanks for watching.